After weeks of GPU crashes in Unreal Engine, I searched the internet and collected all the settings I could find. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to fix the problems and find a solution that might help you too. An amazing side effect is that Redshift no longer crashes and games run much more smoothly. I use Houdini and Redshift a lot, but suddenly problems started. Rendering would suddenly stop, my PC would freeze or Houdini would crash without a single error message. At first I thought Redshift was the problem, especially because I found lots of reports about it in forums. For weeks I was sure Maxon was to blame. Since Redshift became so unreliable, I decided to put it aside and try a real-time solution. Unreal Engine 5 is also good for rendering, so I gave it a shot. At first simple geometry worked fine, but as soon as things got a bit more complex, the real trouble started. Mass GPU crash errors popped up. I thought, it can't be Unreal Engine, it's the king of real-time graphics. And with a powerful RTX 3090 and 24 GB VRAM, it must be me not setting up my PC correctly. Plus, lots of people online were reporting similar crashes. So I started with the basics. Maybe you know these steps. Update NVIDIA Studio Driver and NVIDIA Experience. Update Windows and DirectX. Set NVIDIA Power Management to prefer maximum performance. By creating and setting the TDR delay and TDR DDI delay keys to 60 seconds, Unreal Engine stability can be enhanced under high GPU load. Disable overclocking. I uninstalled MSI Afterburner. And of course, make sure to close all applications running in the background. Soon enough, the crashes were back. I then thought about everything that affects graphics. Use only one monitor. Lower the monitor resolution. Use only one Unreal Engine editor window and make it small, even if it seemed a bit ridiculous. Move the GPU to another slot. Check the temperature development and the VRAM usage in the task manager. There might also be an issue with the cooling system. Crashes, crashes, crashes. Next, I thought the problem had to be Unreal Engine, so I tried some more tweaks. Enabled virtual textures in project settings didn't work. Set FPS limits in Unreal Engine, still nothing. Switching from shader model 6 to 5 prevents GPU crashes but disables ray tracing, making path tracing inaccessible. The same occurs when switching from DirectX 12 to 11 or simply disabling ray tracing. Disabling Lumen and Nanite doesn't change the render quality when using path tracing but it also doesn't stop the GPU crashes. I have also experimented with various console variables as recommended. I tried reducing the memory allocation for textures by setting the streaming pool size to 2000. To reduce the workload on the graphics card, I have limited the frame rate to 20 FPS using the max FPS command. I set the screen percentage to 20 to reduce graphical quality and lessen the GPU load. I set the tile size to 32 to accelerate the rendering process. I have set all quality settings including view distance, anti-aliasing, shadows, post-processing, textures, effects and foliage to their lowest levels to minimize GPU load. Despite these adjustments, the issue persisted and GPU crashes continued to occur. You can find lots of videos on the same topic online. You can find a video on this exact topic on the Epic Games YouTube channel. It might be helpful to you. A user mentioned that uninstalling DroidCam was beneficial. Consequently, I also uninstalled Display Fusion and Microsoft Power Toys as they interact with the Windows interface. By chance, I got about three hours of peace. One day my Bluetooth stick caused issues, so I removed it. Surprisingly, the GPU crashes stopped, but unfortunately, this only lasted until the next day. To distract myself, I tried playing some games. First up, Wukong Black Myth. That's really strange. Now I was really starting to get suspicious. Finally, I decided to run a stress test to check the hardware itself. This was a breakthrough. The OCCT tool test failed because of a VRAM error. I even paid 5 euros to run the full OCCT certification, but not even the bronze test passed due to VRAM issues. There are probably other free tools you can use to check your hardware too. After replacing my GPU with a new one, everything worked perfectly. No more issues with Redshift, Unreal Engine runs great and games play smoothly. My best tip for you. If you're dealing with crashes, start with a stress test. It might save you hours of frustration. If you're sure your hardware isn't the problem, take your time and go through each step carefully. I've copied this list into the description for you. Turn on an overlay for your graphics card to see if you're really reducing its workload. 
I hope my experience helps you find the right solution faster. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.